Welcome to Crochet Corner. My name is Laura. Today I have 40 free crochet patterns to share with you and these are all great for craft fairs or just quick and easy projects and um, they are of all different varieties. So join me. Let's go dive into Ravelry and I'll show you your 40 free patterns for today. Normally I do go live on Tuesdays and Fridays at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. But since the 4th of July holiday is here, I figured I would do a pre-recorded premiere. And um, that way you could still have your free patterns and, um, you know, we could still enjoy the holiday. So let's go ahead and look at the first pattern here. Now, the, the best thing to do to keep track of all these patterns is to grab a notebook and a pen or pull up your Ravelry account and just add these patterns to your library because like I said, they are all free and I do have 40 of them and they're all pretty quick and easy. So let's go ahead and check it out. The first one here is called Tooth Fairy Pillow and this is by Sarah Zimmerman. And this is using a worsted weight yarn and they're recommending Lion Brand's uh, Vanna's Choice. And this is uh, using a five millimeter hook and you only need 50 to 100 yards. Look at how adorable this is. To put a little one's tooth in so cute. I love that. Very, very cute. And then we have this really pretty, slightly slouchy hat, 018 by Simply Made by Erin. And this is using Lion Brand Tweed Stripes Bulky Weight Yarn. And they're using the sizes 8 millimeter and a 6.5 millimeter hook. And you'll need 110 to 120 yards for this gorgeous hat. The colors are just outstanding. I love the style, very pretty. And then here's one on a little girl. Those are pretty colors as well. This is really nice. And then we have the flower kitchen pad. These are gorgeous. And this is by Nastasia. She is on um, YouTube. Her real name is Donna Wolf. But her YouTube channel is Nastasia, and she has great patterns. I've learned a lot from her, but aren't these gorgeous? So absolutely beautiful. I would hate to set a pot on them because I wouldn't want to stain them. And this is using air and weight and a 4 millimeter hook, and you'll need 95 to 100 yards. And these are 8 inches in diameter. And now I thought this was a really cute idea as well. This is called Mushroom Key Cover by Mi Manan. M-E-E-M-A-N-A-N. -E -E and this is using fingering weight yarn and a two and a half millimeter hook. And you need 100 to 120 yards. Isn't this a cute little key cozy? It's called Mushroom Key Cover. And it's just adorable. Love it. And then... I thought since it's the 4th of July weekend when I'm recording this, I thought these were really cute. This is called Let's Celebrate Coaster and Garland. So you can use these as coasters or string them together as a garland. And this is using DK weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. Isn't that cute? That would be awesome for a 4th of July picnic. And then you could decorate your patio with the banner. And this is by Camilla Barrow. So cute. And then we have, this is really nice too. This is called Lands Down Basket by Sincerely Pam. And these are using Erin Weight yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook. You need 100, 130 to 215 yards. This is really pretty. And I love the way it looks with a little tag on the front. It really just jazzes it up. It makes it look more professional. That's beautiful absolutely gorgeous. I love that yarn too. That's gorgeous. I love that color sage green sort of. And this is by Sincerely Pam. And then look at this. Now pre before you know it, it will be Halloween and I thought this was a cute little Halloween ghost. This is called Ghost Boo by Diana Patskun, P-A-T-S-K-U-N using DK weight and a two millimeter hook, and you'll need about 131 to 164 yards. Isn't he so sweet? Look at him. Look at that little face and the little top hat. He has a little bow tie and his little boots. I thought he was just so cute. Adorable. Ghost Boo by Diana Pat Scun. And then here we have Wooly Sheep. 
This is using DK weight and a three and a half millimeter hook. You'll need about 150 yards. This is written in UK terms, just so you know, but I thought these were really adorable. Everybody loves sheep, you know. If you love yarn, you like sheep. I like the little embroidery on the uh, side of the lamb. So cute. And then we have these nice fingerless gloves. These are called hip to be square wrist warmers. And these are using um, a four millimeter hook, 80 to 100 yards, and air and weight yarn. They're um, suggesting Karen Simply Soft Paints. Now those are really nice granny square gloves. They're called hip to be square wrist warmers. Super cute. And these are by Goddess Crochet. And then we have Cottage Comfort Dishcloth by Lauren Brown. And these are using a five and a half millimeter hook and air and weight yarn. They measure eight to nine inches square. And they are suggesting Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton, or Paint Box Yarns Cotton. Aren't those pretty? I love the three colors together. And the stitch is just gorgeous. Let's take a closer look. Very nice. What a nice little gift. Or a gift for yourself. Here's some more views. So pretty. And these are by Lauren Brown. And they're called Cottage Comfort Dishcloth. And then here we have, I thought this was super cute, a Spiral Cactus by Nuria Alvarez. Fingering weight, two millimeter hook. And you'll need about 63 to 66 yards. And it comes in both UK and US terms. And, you know, like all the little cactus and succulents are very popular right now. So I thought that was really, really sweet. It would look nice on a little shelf. And then these are very cozy looking dolphin one hour slipper by Tunde Debre. Pardon my pronunciation. These are using super bulky weight. Himalaya dolphin baby yarn is what they use. A four and a half millimeter hook and you'll need 77 to 131 yards. I bet those are really cozy. And you can adjust them to whatever size you need. Adorable. And then let's see what else do we have here. Now this is a little twist on things. Here is some jewelry. This is called Empower People Bracelets by Diane L. Austin. And you will need one to two yards Sport weight yarn and a 2.75 millimeter hook. Aren't these beautiful? We need some beads, of course. Let's go through and look at how pretty these are. These would be great for a craft show, that's for sure. Very nice. A lot of these items are great for craft shows because they are quick and easy, like the dishcloths. And the jewelry that I'll show you, just the little tiny things that you can make, like the little, the little sheep, the wrist warmers, the little succulents and cactus. Now this is called the Hello Pam Beanie, Aaron Weight, five and a half millimeter hook, and you'll need 150 to 175 yards. These are beautiful hats. And these are by Heidi Yates. So pretty. Let's take a closer look. And they were using Red Heart Hello Gorgeous yarn. I love that yarn. That's so pretty. And I thought this was a really unique idea as well. This would be a great gift for a fellow crocheter or crafter. And this is Floral Tape Measure. You put your little tape measure in here. It's a little tape measure cozy by Jamie Lynn Art, J-A-M-Y. And this is using uh, Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. That's worsted weight and a four millimeter hook, and you'll need 40 to 50 yards. Isn't that a unique idea? I never would have thought about that. So cute. And then let's see, what else do we have? I love this. This is a Hanging Garden by Brenda K.B. Anderson, worsted weight yarn. And you'll need 110 to 190 yards and a five millimeter hook. I thought this was a great plan hanger. So boho. 
looks pretty easy to do. The tassels really jazz it up. And they give you different sizes here. Almost looks like you can make it into a purse pattern as well. If you just fold that flap over, just stay in. You could adapt it. As long as you put a liner on the inside, you could make it a purse, honestly. So these are just absolutely gorgeous. And it's called Hanging Garden by Brenda K.B. Anderson. And let's see. Now, who doesn't love Chewbacca? Here is Star Wars Chewbacca by Ankita Palit. And using bulky weight yarn and a 3.25 millimeter hook, you'll need 110 yards. Look at him. And I, you can see that he's brushed out so that he looks a little bit furry. And he's got his little, his little sword sash thing right there. So cute. Oh my goodness, is that adorable. And now I thought this was ingenious. This is called My Fave Car Accessory by Heather Eads. And these are little um, coasters for inside of your cup holders in your car. And this is using worsted weight yarn and a three and a half millimeter hook. And you'll need only three to four yards per, per one. And I think this would be great for a craft show as well. Look at how cute these are. And she made some yellow ones. These really come in handy. And you'll want to use cotton yarn for this, of course, so it absorbs. Now, look at this one. This is called Sunflower Basket. This was really cute. And this is using just a simple daisy, um, I mean, sunflower granny square. And they put them all together like this. And then it turns into this beautiful box, this little basket with the little handles on it. And here she's showing you all the different steps that she uses to create this beautiful pattern. And this is by, um, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, and I will spell it out, B-L-A-H-O-E-M-E-S-E, -E -E, and the last name is Z-S-U-Z-S-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Very nice. This is beautiful. And this is using a three millimeter hook. 137 yards and sport weight yarn. And this is called Sunflower Basket. And then we have Shorn the Sheep by Annette Bach and Deidre Use. And this is using Aaron Weight and a four millimeter hook, 120 to 131 yards. These are so cute. Now, you know what I just said about sheep. You know, if you love yarn, you like sheep usually. It'd be fun to make all the different sheep, uh, amigurumi that they have on here and have them in your craft room, wouldn't it? All the different little patterns that they have. So I thought that was really cute to share with you. And then let's see, I thought this was really unique as well. This is called Oops, I Played With Your Heart by Ann Wanamaker. Using thread and a 1.65 millimeter hook, you'll need 100 to 300 yards. These are little skulls inside of hearts. Isn't that cool? Now, that would make a really cool uh, banner, too. This would be really cool. Very nice. Love it. Now, you can't really see the skulls too good in that variegated yarn, but you sure can see it a lot in the solid. I really like the black. The black is really cool. And then let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, these are adorable. This is called Playing Cats Amigurumi. And these are using sport weight yarn and a 2.25 millimeter hook. You'll need 44 to 82 yards. Aren't these just gorgeous? Oh, look at that little face. These are precious. Look at the little butt. I don't make a lot of amigurumi but I do love looking at their patterns. Oh, so cute. I'm a big cat lover, so of course I love that. Oh, wait, hold on. That is by J.A. Puvlos, P-O-O-L-V-O-S. And I liked this as well. This is the Swifter Swiffer cover by Knots of Rainbows. Now, if you have a, a Swiffer Sweeper, these are great. You can just make these out of cotton and you don't have to keep buying the pads for it. And this is using worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter hook and you'll need 90 to 95 yards per pad. 
But I mean, you could just throw these in the washing machine and keep using them over and over. And um, if you're not familiar with the Swiffer, here it is. And then you just squirt it and then the, the cleaner comes out on your floor. I have some of that yarn right there. So yeah, and these are, have the bobble stitches all over the bottom so that way it really can scrub well. So I love that. And then we have the Sunflower Lovers Granny Square by Debbie Rag, W-R-A-G-G. -G. And this is using a five millimeter hook and Aran weight yarn. And you'll need 27 to 32 yards per square. Aren't these pretty? I like the color choices. That would make a pretty summer purse or tote bag. Very nice. And then here, I thought this was really great for the holidays. This is called Christmas Tree Holiday Hat. These would be great for a craft show right before the holidays, you know, in the fall. Make some of these up. This is using worsted weight yarn, five millimeter hook, and you only need 100 to 150 yards for an adult size large. It, isn't this just adorable? I love how they put like the little, um, let's see, how do they do that? They just put different color yarn in there to make it look like ornaments. And that looks like holly berries. Oh, that's so pretty. These are just gorgeous. Christmas tree holiday hat by Forma Tina. Hopefully I didn't forget to tell you the, the name of the designers of these. Okay, now this I thought was cute. This is another mushroom thing. This is called mushroom chapstick holder. And this is using worsted weight and a four millimeter hook. You only need 25 to 50 yards. So that's really easy. And it's super cute. This is a great gift for kids, you know, even like a birthday party gift or like a classroom gift, you know, if you're like a room mom or something like that. I love being a room mother and doing crafts with the kids, but this would be a little hard to make with the kids, but you could bring them as little gifts. So cute. And this is by Trish Haskin, Mushroom Chapstick Holder. And then here, I thought this was gorgeous, Prosperity Pouch by Ashley Zong, Z-H-O-N-G, five millimeter hook, Aran weight yarn, 55 to 90 yards. Aren't these gorgeous? They're so bright and cheery and they're using all scrap yarn. Oh, look at her glasses. Her glasses are granny squares. Oh my goodness. These are just great. What a, what a fun way to use up your scraps. Look at her and all our granny square fun. That's adorable. Prosperity pouch. And um, let's see. She says that you could use them for your dice bags, coin hoards, or even use as a reusable gift bag for the holidays. Oh, that's a great idea. Love that. And for all of you, you um, earring makers, here's a nice little earring pattern. I know some of my um, subscribers love to make earrings. And this is called Lacy Lemon Earrings by Anna Nof, A-N-H-A. And the last name is N-O-U-F. They're using thread and a 1.65 millimeter hook. You need 0 to 50 yards. Now, I thought these were beautiful. Very, very detailed. I love the little black bead up at the top. It really sets it off. Absolutely gorgeous. Lacy Lemon Earrings. And then here we have the Small Frog Doll. Look at him. He would be a big hit at a craft show. And this is using worsted weight yarn and a three and a half millimeter hook. You only need 14 to 15 yards, which isn't much. So you could use your scraps. He's so cute. So cute. Look at him sitting in the tree. Adorable. And here's a bunch of his little friends in the tree. I need to make one of those. And this is by Heather Steedman, Small Frog Doll. And then who doesn't remember Pusheen? I love Pusheen. And this is Pusheen with Ice Cream by Roxy Crochet. And this is using DK weight and a two and a half millimeter hook. And look at that little ice cream cone with a cherry on the top. Pusheen looks exactly like the Pusheen I remember in the cartoon. 
Oh, so adorable. That is just absolutely perfect. I know a lot of kids would love that. And this is by Roxy Crochet. It's called Pusheen with Ice Cream. And then I think you would love this. This is called Seeing Spirals Washcloth. Now, these would be great for a craft show. This is using air and weight and a 5 millimeter hook. And you need 50 to 55 yards. I love the bright, cheery colors that they used. These are great. You could even make them even bigger and make them into placemats also. If you just kept going around and around, you could do that. I love that. These are by Lindsay Dale, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y, Dale, D-A-L-E. And then I thought, since robins are out and about right now, this is called the European robin. I don't live in Europe, but I do have a lot of robins around. They don't look exactly like this one. But this is by Stella Taubenheim, and this is using DK weight and a two and a half millimeter hook. And you only need 30 to 40 yards so sweet and look at the little wire feet that she did she bended the wire bent the wire that's so cute oh i love the little legs this is really adorable i love birds if you haven't if you haven't told if you can't tell and let's see here Here's a little cat. This is called Amaniko Crocheted Cat by Nico Yama. And this is using light fingering weight and 118 yards and a 2.75 millimeter hook. Look at that little kitty. He looks a little bit sad. That's so cute. Aww. He's just hanging around. Super sweet. Now, anybody that likes amigurumi would probably enjoy that. And that's using light fingering weight to a 2.75 millimeter hook and a 3 millimeter hook. You'll need 118 yards. And it is called Amanico Crochet Cat. And now we have Plushy Bear by Toth Dominica. And it's using super bulky weight and a 4 millimeter hook. You'll need 109 to 219 yards. That reminds me of the snuggle bear almost. He's so cute. Plushy bear is the name of this pattern. I love that. And then here is another adorable amigurumi. This is called Toy Bunny by Christina Yarima. Using sport weight yarn and a 1.75 millimeter hook. And you need, it says 7 to 8 yards, but I'm assuming that you'll probably need more than that. That doesn't seem like that much <laughs> yarn. Um, this is by Christina Yarema. Super cute. Look at the little expression on his face. Oh, I just love it. That is a really cute bunny. And then I thought this was cute too. This is called Dumpling Kitty by Sarah Sloyer using Aaron Weight and a 3.2 five millimeter hook. You'll need 50 to 60 yards. And here are three different colors and they have little stripes on their back. Here's four different ones. Oh, that's adorable. These are so cute. I don't think these would take very long to make and these would also make a great craft show item. And this is by Sarah Sawyer Dumpling Kitty. Aaron weight, 3.25 millimeter hook, 50 to 60 yards. And then this as well. This is called Simply Daisy Bookmark. How quick and easy. This is great craft show material right here. Uh, worsted weight yarn and a 4 millimeter hook. You only need 15 to 20 yards. So you can use up your scraps and make some bookmarks for a craft show or for gifts. How fun. These are really pretty. And these are by Dana Perry, D-A-Y-N-A. -A. And the last name is Perry. And then we have the Sunflower Pot by Lily's Lyric. 
sport weight yarn, and they also used a two and a three millimeter hook. This is bright and cheery and great for summer. Love that. It's called Sunflower Pot. And then I thought this was actually so gorgeous. This is called the Jackfield Tile Tote Bag using DK weight and a four and a half millimeter hook. And you'll need 600 to 800 yards for this. But this looks so detailed and gorgeous. I love all the stitches and the colors that they use and the little beads, the tassel. It all just comes together nicely. Absolutely gorgeous. Aw. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think I need to make one of these. Now, it looks like it's covering one of the... Um, the canvas tote bags. You just put it over the tote bag. So that's kind of nice. Makes it nice and easy. So that is called the Jackfield Tile Tote Bag by Christine Bateman. And then last but not least, I have the Tempest Beanie to show you. And this is by Above the Clouds Crochet using Aran Weight Yarn. And you'll need a 5.5 and an also a six millimeter hook 150 to 175 yards. I thought this was beautiful. I love all the different stitches that they incorporated into this hat. And like I said, this is by Above the Clouds Crochet and it's called the Tempest Beanie. The tag looks really nice on the front. And I thought that was great. And that is all we have for today. Those are your 40 free patterns. I hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, make sure that you come back and see me every Tuesday and Friday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. I do go live at that time. Or you can always go back and catch the replay. So thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great day. And if you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and the subscribe button. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.